I want to take a minute and show you a few things. Uh, we're getting a little bit into this chainsaw muffler thing on this channel, only because I got a couple to build. And uh, so yesterday was about being able to explain the concepts of the type of muffler that I personally build for my saws and a few of, of you guys. Once in a while I build one. Not very many. I, I don't generally have the time to do much of it. But I got a special project. And I want to show how to make tight bends without a bender. Nice bends, okay? Because most pipe benders, they, they don't you can't do a very tight radius and have a, something you would use for a chainsaw exhaust. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, I was going to go ahead and fire the torch <laughs> up. and It does take heat. And uh, it's, it's the end of the day. I'm hot. I'm tired. And I want to get in front of the air conditioner. Yeah, air conditioner. You southern boys know what that is, huh? But I want to... I want to stress something about that design that I'm showing you. That really is only just one step. Um, several of you in the comments have made valid comments that, look, Idaho, uh, Oregon, Northern California, forest fires, they don't have no spark arrester. Yeah, that does, that's hot. That motherfucker is hot. Uh, no. Anywhere where it's a risk of fire wouldn't use it. Uh, I built my own spark arresters. I'll tell you how to do it. Now, what the deal is, you can't, on state land here, you you got to have a fire, uh, fire uh, spark arresters in your muffler. And all I do is on that exit tube, I just build a sleeve that slides over it. And I've generally got spark arresters on a chainsaw is laying around here, and I just fit that in there and screw it. Just one screw, and there are two screws, and hold it on. And when I don't want it on there, I can pull it off. Blocking firewood? Nah, I don't need it. Uh, most of the year logging here, no, you're not catching mud on fire. It's just not going to happen. So, but... Just think about that. It'd be safe with things like this. Uh, that was a good point, gentlemen. It really was. But, okay, now what I'm doing, I'm into building a concept muffler. And I'm doing it with Buck and Billy. We're doing it back and forth. And uh, we're, we, it's his idea. I want to build it. I want to see what his idea. He, he's cagey old for it. I told you that. Well, he's younger than me, but he's still. He's Buck and Billy. Okay, so he came up with this design. I'm not going to show you the finished product. I want him to show you. But today was a crazy day. It was one of them two trip to town days because things had to be taken care of. You know, Well, it was three trips. I forgot. And uh, things have to be done some days like that. So we already set up in here for making mufflers. I will, when I... I get here directly. I'll show you that design. I'll go right through it step by step and make it right in front of the camera so you can see exactly. That's a very simple one. What we're doing now is a simple. We needed short bends. Okay, I'm three quarter pipe. We need short bends. How do you get that short of a bend? I'm talking short. Well, I'm going to tell you what. The first attempt, I come up with that. But I blow through. I blow through. What you have to do is pinch the ends of your pipe. I'm going to show you how to make short bends. See, that's, that's pinched right there. You pinch that. I heat it with a torch, and I just, I just pinch it with a pair of pliers until it's all the way sealed. And then what you do, you fill it full of sand. Leave, this is... Half inch ID, so you leave it down about a half an inch. Three quarter ID would leave it about three quarter of an inch. And all you do is you heat it with your torch and pinch it with your pliers. You close both ends, and uh, that's. And then you weld it on a piece of pipe, weld it to your table, and you make that. Yep, that's exactly right. There's a coil. 
there's enough bends in that coil right there to be able to uh, get a lot of little short elbows, tight elbows, loopy elbows, anything you want to. So what you have to do is decide what your radius is. Let's not. I'm not going to do the math for you. You guys, some of you know how to do it. The rest of you, you're just going to do it the farmer way like I do. Yeah, I know how to do the mail. I can calculate the radius. That's, we learned all that in high school, didn't we? We know how to do that. For this particular radius that I wanted, this is a one and three quarter inch OD pipe. So that means on the inside of that, I got one and three quarter. That's three quarter OD. It, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Looks like I'm building a darn spring, don't I? But I can take and cut pieces out of this, do whatever I want to, and, and flip them every which way, or make rolls, or anything. Uh, if you need a, a bigger piece of pipe, be reasonable about what radius you're trying to accomplish. Because if you got a great big piece of pipe, you say, I want that to be only one in it. Nah. There's another way to do it, but we're, we're, not, we're not getting into that. We don't have the equipment. And uh, uh, I know one of you is going to say, well, what about mandrel bending? Mandrel bending can't bend that that tight. That's eighth wall. Eighth inch, that's it. Mandrel bending alone can't do it. But I'm going to warn you of something. When you're heating this, it's all about how much pressure and heat. It's attached right here. This is the point where it hits. You heat ahead of it right in this area okay and it's nice when you got a cohen like i do okay pull it just a little bit and then it heat here and it pull a little bit when that comes in contact you just heat a little further over not you got to figure out what kind of heat now uh that works good once you get that sorted out be prepared for your first roll that you make that's uh, all the way around, that's gonna, you're going to blow it out. You're going to leak sand. The minute your sand starts flying out, don't even continue. I did. I did one deliberately. I'd like to say it was for an example for you guys. Yeah, 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 that's it. <laughs> but I did it just to see, number one, how much pipe I was going to eat up. It's more than you think. You're really gaining feet all the way around. You are. Uh, but... I did it just to see what the temperament of the pipe was. How much heat does it take to do it? How much stretch am I getting? Uh, let me reach behind me and get the one I blowed out. I'll show you the mistakes. As long as I can show you some successes too. Okay. First attempt. You can see where it was welded. There, a little too much heat right there. Oh, I really got the heat after it right there. What I was trying to do is heat it and bend it myself, just alone. But you can see what that looks like. That was just plain slap too hot. Uh, if I didn't have such a darn good torch, it probably wouldn't have been so hot. I'll show you what I got. And it's my go-to. It's a Harris. And that they're nice. They're, I like that angle tip. You, I mean, you don't have to... When you got that... you. you that's a natural position for me. I'm sorry. And you get a big enough tip in there that these Harris's you can get a you can get a big tip if you want it. And if I'm trying to heat something, I like the right size tip for what I'm heating. That's important. In this type of stuff, it uh, the thing is you got to remember, don't blister the outside of your pipe. Yeah, you just seen the example of what blistering looks like. It's okay to have have it look like that. And it's got little carbon spots on it. You know, you can see that. And yeah, this is still, it had sand in it. I, when I cut it off with this pipe here right beside me, uh, oh, sand started dribbling out. I use sandblast sand. You can use playground sand, play sand, anything you want. But Go to the I, beach. Yeah, go to the beach. Go to the beach just to fill your freaking pipe. Fill your pockets full yeah. of sand. But this wasn't too bad to do. And uh, now I I got a couple saws I got to ship tomorrow. 
and I'd like to do that earlier in the morning. And uh, when we get back, what I want to do is put together a flange and a piece of pipe and show you how that works. And I'll actually build one of them mufflers in a few days live that I showed you guys how to build. That way you can see the whole example of what the do's and don'ts are. And, and uh, that makes it right. Uh, get me, uh, before it leaves here tomorrow, get me uh, uh, Sean Parker's saw there, that uh, one with that new pipe on it. Maybe I can get you close enough, yeah. No, that's not it. That's a... Uh, we got a couple of them sitting right here. Oh, buddy Daryl Slammer, he got one of them too. Okay, let me see if I can get in there with the light and point out the structures. Okay, what it does, it actually raises upward. That's why you grind uh, uh, your base there. You know, you see how that mounts up. No big deal. And you just want that to clear the chain side cover. Make sure your chain brake doesn't come in contact when you put that together. Okay. That's what the whole deal is. Okay, enough of that. I haven't done this in a while. I go on a rant. And I call it the world according to Iron Horse. So you're you're gonna if you're into that, you wanna hear an Iron Horse rant from a crazy old man, I'm gonna give you one. Alright. Two months, social distancing. I got no problem with that. I'm good at it. You know, stay away. Don't get too close to me. Enough's enough. Uh, we're in a poor county here. Um, just because a governor decides that he is going to mandate that these businesses be closed and one thing or another, you know what? That ain't a law. They're enforcing that, but they can't legally read your constitution, read your rights. They can't legally do that. I don't like something being misrepresented. I get upset over that. They should say, no, please don't. Okay, no, it's not a law. This ain't the kingdom of New York, okay? Nah. Mm -mm. Sort it out. Those of you that are living states that have hop spots, I'm calling out to you. You guys use your common sense. Stay away from each other. Wear your darn mask. Follow the guidelines that the doctors are telling you because they're, they're probably right. That's why they're doctors, right? If it was up to doctors, we'd never open the economy back up. Well, I'll tell you what a poor little county and a poor little state like we got is. There's places that are done forever, I'll promise you that. And we can't afford to lose no businesses. Uh, where are people going to work? What are they going to do? This is what's upsetting me. We need to tactfully get the economy rolling. Okay? That's what we need to do. Uh, am I social distancing? 59 years of it, I'm... Yes, I am. Am I deliberately? At this point, no. No. Because I'm going to tell you something right now that I know for a fact. And if you don't believe this, you look it up. You find out what I'm going to tell you right now. And this ain't no secret. Now, yeah, I have a little bit of something about medicine. I know I was a combat medic in the 18th Airborne Corps. Rapid Deployment Force. I was a very good medic. Viruses can only be controlled so much. They're really, really tough to deal with, okay? This particular one, they're seeing heat, blah, blah, blah. You know what I like about this thing? It's a freaking media jumping in it. I love the next one. And me and my logger buddy, Jeff, was talking about this early in the game. I smoke with those cigars, you know. And so don't he. Of course, I, he gets a little, you know, nah, nah. I have a beer once while I was son, but that's about it, you know, a couple of them. Then I'm way ready for a sandwich and a nap. Yeah. Ain't it? Old nappy dad. Yeah, old nappy dad for old dad. We's joking. I says, Jeff, I says, Jeff, now wouldn't it be funny if down the road they found out that frickin' uh, smoking cigars uh, knocks the hell out of that COVID? Yeah, we said that. Guess what? They're doing studies on it. Wanting to see. 
I, the one I seen that got me was why nicotine knocks it back. Not does it, but why. Uh, well, if your lungs are full of black ass crap, anyway, from fo smoking a darn old cigar forever, uh, there's probably nothing left that's alive that can be attacked, right? Okay, so let's get by that. I'm not making light of this. Do not think I am. I'm taking this very serious. If I lived in a hot spot, uh-uh, no, no. But I'm going to tell you, I'm sick of this. It's killing our businesses. It is destroying our hometown businesses. The corporate guys are going to hang in there, but not the hometown. You know, the mom and pop restaurants, uh, the local pub. You know, it's ruined the music scene. Uh, you can't go and watch dirt bike race or, or circle track race, drag race. Can't do that. Anything that we like doing, we can't do. Okay, we'll make sacrifices. We'll do that. But I'll tell you what I don't like being stacked on this, and this is a bad thing in election year. It's okay. Now we're going to oppose all these uh, changes. What was that last? Mail-in voting. Yeah, mail-in voting. Okay. Great. Love it. <laughs> Who gets yeah. to count those and where yeah. do they go? And, okay. Ah, yeah. uh, what was that? This is the next new normal. Yeah, the new normal. This yeah. is not a new normal. I'm not getting used to this. I'm not going to. Yeah. No. No. I'm not. It, uh, I don't see horses and cows wearing a mask. Why should I? We all live in the country together. You know, I go up back around my mules with a mask on. They're going to look at me and they're going to run. It's like something wrong with old dad. Or huh? kick you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, knock me down. Be stomping on me. Yeah. They'll probably rifle in my pocket to see if I got a horse cookie or something. But, no, I'm tired of this. Uh, the powers of the B need to be listening to the people. But you people... Do what everybody I know that watches this uh, stuff that I put up. Do. I know you're level-headed. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. It. Uh, I'm the jackass in a bunch, not you. Um, if you're sick, stay away from other people. Isn't that what we were taught by parents and grandparents? Uh, if you're going to cough, don't expel droplets. You know, cough in your shoulder. Uh, use a hanky. What happened to freaking men having hankies? And, well, women that had a tissue. But we had big old hankies, you know. It was a grease rag, emergency toilet paper. It was everything all at once. Yeah. Yeah. Shirt sleeves. Bottom of your shirt. Uh, loggers, you all know about that one. How many of you has got a shirt that's uh, missing a piece in the bottom? Yep. I know where that went. Yeah, I do. It, uh, it, you don't want to use the local vegetation to, unless you know what poison oak or poison ivy looks like, okay? Yeah. No, I didn't experience that, but I heard a guy say that. I, I, uh, that, that. Oh, man. No, so, anyways, this little rant is not meant to make this light of this situation, but. The media's jumped on board. Politicians are jumping on board. Everybody's pointing fingers at the next guy. It's, uh, you know, you're clucking like freaking chickens. The sky's falling. Okay, we had COVID right here. We probably still do. The numbers never got large. It died back. And I want my state open, at least my little part of it, okay? So let's do something about that. People are protesting for a reason. I don't agree with protesting. It don't go nowhere. But uh, this one, yeah, I'm sure you feel the same way. But I just wanted you to know that, no, I've had it. I've had it. Jody, two weeks. Get a hold of me. Two weeks, okay, buddy? Uh, I hope you watch this. I'll get a hold of you anyways. I will. Okay, enough about all that. Probably YouTube will demonetize this video, but as long as we don't say too much about COVID in the comments, they'll probably let it slide. And uh, so that'd be good, you know. We'll call it an issue. This world issue. 
that's blown way out of proportion in my book. Yeah, okay. Enough's enough. Goodbye.